Hello, I'm Frances Durkin. I'm the author of the History Notes book series, and our latest title is A Greek Adventure. So I'm very happy to be here today to be able to talk to you about ancient Greece. Now, before I became a historian, I spent a very long time working in the theatre. And even though I don't work there anymore, I do still love to watch plays. Theatre, as we recognise it in the Western world, can be traced back to the religious festivals of ancient Greece. And when I started writing A Greek Adventure, I knew that I wanted to make theatre a big part of the story. At the beginning of the book, the Histronauts are transported back to ancient Greece, where they learn all about the great Dionysia festival. This was an annual spring festival that celebrated the god Dionysus and featured theatrical performances of brand new plays. At the end of the festival, the writer of the best play was declared the winner. One very famous playwright named Sophocles actually won the first prize 18 times. Going to the theatre was a really popular experience for ancient Athenians, and audiences would clap and shout and hiss and stamp their feet in response to the play. Actors brought these plays to life, and the cast of a play was made up of between one and three professional actors and 12 amateur performers, called the Chorus, who sang and danced. The actors used painted masks made of leather, wood or cork to show the audience which character they were playing in each scene. The masks all had exaggerated expressions to show the emotions of the characters and wide open mouths that amplified the actors' voices. The masks could be quickly changed and this made it easy for the actors to play many different parts in the same play. Three different types of plays were performed at the Great Dionysia Festival. There were comedy plays, tragedy plays and satyr plays. The comedies were funny, the tragedies were sad and the satyr plays were very, very rude. Thousands of plays were written in ancient Greece, but only a handful remain today. Many of those that we do know are still regularly performed and they give us a wonderful living insight into what it was like to watch a show in the ancient world. Many of the amphitheatres where they were performed are still standing today and they are still sometimes used to stage live performances. So, for my writing prompt, I want you to imagine that you're going to write your own short play for the Dionysia Festival. It can be about anything you like. It could be about a trip to a restaurant, or a day at the zoo, or even a walk in the woods. Will you write a comedy or a tragedy? How many characters do you have? How does it feel to write a story through the dialogue that the characters will perform? What stage directions will you write to describe the scene and the actions? Can you perform the play with your friends? Thank you so much for having me here at the Time Tunnelers. Have a great time writing your play for the Great Dionysia, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.